Hey guys, it's Brooks and you're watching Bro Real Car Wiz. Today I'm pleased to present to you this 2016 Lexus RX 350 in silver linings metallic. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you probably know, the 2016 RX is the first year of the fourth generation RX and it clearly, first of all, looks a lot different. Uh, now the RX did grow for the fourth generation as compared to the third. Um, but if you're a familiar RX owner, uh, many of the RX's attributes will feel right at home to you, even though the vehicle is a little bit larger. Um, it's got a different engine setup, and there's a d different styling overall persona. It is still an RX, uh, and I'd love to g show you why. Now, I have a little cheat sheet of the uh, build spec on this one, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Um... This is a 2016 Lexus RX 350 front wheel drive. Um, now, for 2016, the RX is a much more customizable vehicle than it was before. Previously, you walked into the dealership, chose a hybrid or a front wheel drive, v, um, I mean, hybrid or a V6, front wheel drive or all wheel drive, your color and navigation or no navigation, that was essentially it. For the fourth generation, um, you can spec anything. Do you want a 12 a 12.3 12 inch navigation system or do you want an 8 inch navigation system? Would you like a panoramic sunroof or a regular sunroof? Uh, what kind of grill would you like? I mean there's very it's a very customizable process now um, as compared to before. But anyways this one stickers for just over fifty thousand dollars. As I mentioned it's in silver lining metallic. It has the parchment with matte bamboo trim interior. It has the 12.3 inch navigation system. Um, <clears throat> it has the premium package, which essentially comes with rain sensing wipers, uh, memory seats, um, electro, electro, uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's got dimming side view mirrors that fold in, uh, powerly, or power operated. Um, it has a rear seat armrest, and that's essentially uh, it. This one has the a la carte blind spot monitoring. Um, with cross traffic alert, it has the intuitive park assist, which is your front and rear parking sensors, uh, as you can kind of see on that bumper down below. You have the touch free power um, trunk, which I will go over a little bit later, um, and the optional uh, 20 inch alloy wheels, as well as heated and ventilated seats and the power moonroof. So now that we've walked around a couple times, I'll show you the key fob. As you can see, it's Lexus's new uh, smart key with the power trunk, power, and then lock and unlock, of course. Um, and a new feature, or new addition to the uh, 2016 RX is that all four door handles now have smart key access as compared to just the front two. Um, a new change, and I'll insert a picture here, is that when you approach the vehicle at night, a little LED is illuminate under the door handles. A nice touch. So to lock the vehicle, you just put your thumb there on the uh, door panel, and the mirrors fold in, etc. You just grab the door handle to unlock. And now, as you can see, there's a new change. Lexus has gone to a pin style unlock. So as you can see, this door is unlocked, and the others are locked. Uh, it's just easier to see. Um, if the vehicle is unlocked or not. But we'll go ahead and start it up. As you can see, this two-tone parchment interior, it's uh, made with this brown um, and this light bamboo trim, of course. Looks very pretty. So just put your foot on the brake and hit the engine start button. And as you can see, it has that 12.3 inch navigation system. It also features an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's beeping because the door is open. Sport mode, backup in reverse. You have a large backup camera. And we'll go ahead, go ahead and cut on the uh, automatic uh, HID headlights, um, fog lights, and the hazards. Uh, this model does feature the automatic high beams as a part of the Le Lexus Safety Systems Plus package. So the exterior is a departure from the RXs of previous years, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I washed the car up last night and there's so many creases and angles, and it all just fits together well in my opinion. Of course to each his own, however I will mention that the RX is selling in like record sales numbers, so I think the public is also enjoying it. Um, as you can see, this one is that in that beautiful silver lining metallic, which I think really makes this vehicle pop. As you can see, it's got the floating uh, deep pillar design. <clears throat> And it has those uh, roof rails, like I mentioned, um, that come on the premium package. That power sunroof, shark fin antenna, 
chrome runner around the windows. And then we have this nice black rocker panel which really sets off the vehicle um, and those 20 inch wheels which are just very pretty. This features Lexus's 3.5 liter V6 engine, <laughs> 2GR FKS. Um, this one also is front wheel drive like I mentioned and made it to that 8 speed automatic transmission. Um, there's a lot less engine cladding in here as before if you're familiar with RX's, uh, but there's still the signature Lexus um, uh, badge on the engine cover. So shutting this up, this particular example was built in February of 2016. It has just under 5,000 miles on it. These are the standard um, HID headlights. Uh, you can get optional triple beam LEDs and you can see it has the LED running light, your, um, L your high HID headlight right there and your turn signal. And then it has LED fog lights down below, uh, offset into this little crease, very attractive. Large prominent front grille as you can see your parking sensors integrated into that grille right there. And you've got this large um, chrome piece which uh, outlines the spindle grille. Get your Lexus logo, which is where your radar assisted cruise control hides behind. Um, very pretty front end, of course. This is one of many different front ends. If you get a hybrid, there are some hybrid cues, and then the F Sport has a completely different grill. So, really, you can take your pick on what you like and what you don't like. And so, let's take a look at that power operated trunk. I've got the key fob in my pocket. As you can see, if you just stick your hand over the Lexus logo or your elbow, it will open without having to hit any buttons on the key fob or in the trunk. Um, and then opening up the trunk, as you can see, uh, you've got a large cargo bay. I won't lie, this sloping rear design does, I mean, come in obviously a little bit, but you still have plenty of room. I don't see why you would need uh, more than what you're offered. you got this nice cargo shade right here, which matches the brown interior trim. you got this nice brown carpeting uh, with spare tire down below, some storage on either side. And then off to the side here, you've got these handles, which if you grab here, we'll drop. and once you drop that, you've just got an abundance of room uh, with a flat load floor. Close up that power trunk. And as you can see, the rear seat design is very pretty with this two-tone uh, beige and, um, or excuse me, parchment with the perforated trimming here. Uh, nice stitching in the seat design, very well executed. And this seat is set back for my six foot two driving frame. And as you can see, I mean, I have two, three inches of leg room, no problem and plenty of head space. Looking at the door panel here, as you can see, I mentioned those new uh, tab pins for the uh, power lock system, a chrome door handle, your uh, speaker up top, speaker down below, and a little bit of bottle storage, automatic window, padded stitched, as you can see, double stitch with a cross pattern there, and your wood trim. Up to the center you have your um, air vents, you've got a power outlet, and some storage down below. I will say that I wish Lexus did not move to these little things for the 12 volt power outlet. I wish they kept their little flaps, because these always get lost. Um, and of course you have some seat back, map storage pocket, LED interior illumination, and you've got that armrest like I mentioned, with cup holders, and a little storage cubby. And coming to the interior, you can see it has that three-person memory um, feature like I mentioned. You've got the uh, typical pull-out door panel style with the uh, bottle holder off to the side. Same way power driver and passenger seat uh, and that two-tone design. Off to the side here, you have your automatic high beam switch, power trunk, and you've got a little storage cubby that is felt lined. You've got your power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Uh, turn signals, tap for three blinks, uh, automatic high beams like I mentioned, then your automatic wipers are over there. So coming inside, a very pretty bamboo wheel with leather stitching on all sides here. Lexus logo, you got your radar cruise control, you got your lane departure warning, um, your forward collision alert, um, and then this click wheel right here correlates with that center gauge pod. Uh, you got your radio controls, volume, Bluetooth phone controls, and voice commands. Um, if I click through right here, I'm clicking up and down on the wheel. You can see distance to empty, uh, different features, uh, tire pressure. You can check that real quick here. Sway warning. Um, lots of features are packed just right there into the center gauge cluster. And then if you have your navigation set up, you'd have your directions uh, right there. 
and then you have your radio commands which are featured right here you can click through your different presets or different uh, radio bands and as you can see it's got the dedicated uh, temperature and clock at the top with the um, odometer down below and then you've got your uh, cruise control features you can um, set your lane departure warning and whatnot uh, no messages and then the settings you can excuse me lane keep assist uh, you can turn that on steering sense uh, steering assist alert um, you can change the sensitive sensitivity and then if we click back you've got your pre-collision system on and off sensitivity blind spot monitoring park assist on and off um, clock and just a lot of different features uh, right there and again that's all controlled with this click wheel down below, like I mentioned, you've got that 8-speed automatic transmission. If you look in front of that, you've got your parking brake with auto hold. Essentially, if you come to a complete stop, you can take your foot off the brake and the vehicle will not move. You've got your heated and ventilated seats. They are automatic. You've got a storage tray here for a cell phone and whatnot. You've got a 12-volt power outlet off to the side there. And you have that bamboo wood trim. Uh, you do have dual cup holders, and this one to the left will collapse for a um, larger drink. Down below that, you've got your rotary dial for um, sport mode, as you can see, or you can go back to eco mode or normal. Uh, and then you've got your traction control. Here you have your Lexus remote touch interface. <clears throat> and this is the updated version. So you can click down here like you could on the 2013 through 15s, or you can also hit the enter button on the side, which is what you could do on the 2010 to 2012s. So it really is that best of both worlds. You have your leather stitch center console here with a side opening uh, compartment. This will apparently hold an iPhone 5 or smaller, or you can put some change here, credit cards here, uh, just a little storage tray. And opening up the center console, uh, of course you've got this typical Lexus bin style, which you can um, have more storage down below that. 12 volt power, 12 volt power outlet, and then you've got your uh, two USB and one aux port there. Um, and then this is all leather stitched and padded on both sides, of course. You've got your Lexus, Lexus analog clock, you've got your dual zone automatic climate control, uh, quick hard key buttons for your radio and your volume tune scroll. Off to the side here you have your glove box, it is felt line and rather large. Off to the side here you have a little storage pocket uh, underneath the drive, uh, underneath the uh, center console tunnel. And of course, it's that traditional Lexus flat dashboard kind of style. The little rounded portion, plenty of stitching, uh, and just character lines on the dashboard. It is, of course, padded, and um, it features that 12.3 inch navigation system, which is controlled with this contr um, remote touch interface. As you can see, it is a split screen style with the 12.3 inch screen. You got the large, you can customize it however you like to see it. Um, so you can see a map here, radio controls on the side, Phone controls on the side, uh, climate controls, or if you hit menu, uh, you can go over, you can blow up your media controls. Of course, this vehicle has all your typical Bluetooth audio and 2016 features you just expect to have in a vehicle like this. And then all your preset stations, which as, you can, as I said, you can dual screen in this whole setup. Uh, so it's very convenient. Up above, you have your uh, frameless rear view mirror with garage home link. Uh, there's your sensors for your automatic wipers and your pre-collision system, lane keep assist and whatnot. Felt line, mirror, and vanity light, and these do slide pretty far. And you've got your sunglasses storage. I'm glad they brought that back. They got rid of it in the third generation. You've got your touch-sensitive LED um, map lights, power sunroof controls. Like I mentioned, you have the standard power sunroof here, not the full-on one, uh, the full-on panoramic, excuse me. And so I'd like to thank you guys for taking this tour with me of the 2016 Lexus RX350. If I missed anything and you have any questions, please drop them down below. Um, otherwise, please feel free to subscribe, like, uh, and just comment anything really about uh, what you'd like to see more of uh, and whatnot. If you're in the market for an RX or similar and you're a previous RX owner, you're going to love this one. Um, the changes are more evolutionary than revolutionary in terms of what makes an RX an RX, uh, like the size, the comfort, the ride quality. Um, it's still the RX you know and love, just in different skin, uh, essentially. I think Lexus did a great job improving the vehicle uh, and making it different than the old one without alienating uh, what makes an RX an RX. Um, so uh, kudos to Lexus, I think this is a beautiful SUV. Um, 
And yeah, thank you guys for watching.